So you might be asking yourselves, hey Ben, what's in the bag? Well, it's a fishing kayak. Welcome to my channel. Hey, are you limited in space? You live in an apartment? You want to go fishing in a kayak, but you have nowhere to store it. You don't have a truck to carry it or whatever. And you're thinking about a fishing inflatable fishing kayak well I got some tips for you what to look for and what not to look for so this should be interesting and I'll tell you at the end of the video if you have no budget and you want a good one I'll tell you where to look and which model to look at all right so here we go so here we have uh, both my kayaks um, I bought this little one for as a test <laughs> very expensive little test because I didn't know anything about inflatable kayaks or fishing and uh, I bought this one used uh, off this lady she only used it three times and uh, I bought it because it was wide you know I'm a pretty big guy and uh, I thought it would work well you could go fishing with this no problem uh, the problem with it is when it's very small two it, it doesn't guide straight you know it uh, when, when you're gonna row you're gonna go from side to side and it's not very fast now that's you could go around that problem easily but the main 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 problem with this okay is this company unfortunately tries to sell this as a kayak and that you could use for fishing because in here usually there's a a tube and they call those rod holders I don't know about you but when you have a reel behind your ears not a lot of fun second of all this is made out of uh, nylon canvas type material now hooks love to hook up in here and it gets wet so does the floor and you cannot stand on this floor and if you could see it's already dirty uh, I used it just once for like 15 minutes just to test it out and I, I saw that it, 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 it wouldn't work my girlfriend tested it out pike juice uh, dirt from the worms or your feet is gonna stain this it's gonna look like crap within two days the worst part is so when you're done with it when you take it out of the water and deflate it you have to wait till it dries or else it's gonna mold up now waiting for over an hour for it to dry is out of the question. For me, it does not work for me at all, unfortunately. So this is my gripe on those little kayaks. This is like $500 Canadian, which is insane because I will tell you what kayak, if you have no budget and you want a, a not bad kayak and it's gonna last for more than a year, uh, I'll tell you that after the show now this is a real inflatable fishing kayak by the same company this is made out of PVC this is tough as nails the hooks will not go into this this has a drop stitch floor drop stitch floor is uh, inside there's a, they got all these little hairs inside and when you inflate it you can inflate it to six pound PSI you put six psi i put a little bit more it makes it stiffer so it rides better i could walk on this no problem i could walk from there to there and it will not tip over this thing is ultra stable it is pretty i could say it's fast it's not the fastest boat in the world but it is fast it goes straight as a line i have the booster seat here with air so i can make it softer and uh i could put a lot of gear I could hide things under the canopy over there so it doesn't get wet you know I got drain valves all over the boat there's some in the back also I've never used them this boat stays dry 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 and uh, you know it's a pretty long boat it's uh, almost 13 feet long and like I said I'm a pretty big guy I'm, I'm 5'11 but I'm like 215 pounds and I bring quite a lot of stuff because I fish the whole day 
I, I'll fish eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. It doesn't really matter to me. So that's the fun part about this. I can put a lot of stuff. Now, uh, this is just a basic uh, setup. I didn't do my normal setup when I go fishing because there's a little bit more gizmos and stuff. But this, you know, just to give a general idea of, of how this thing is. And uh, here is going to be my fish finder. I'll put it on the table. I'll show you how the fish finder works and stuff and uh, give you a better idea. But inflatable fishing kayaks are good if, let's say, I'll give you an example. Look up here. This is my, my shed. It's only 10 feet long. A rigid kayak will not fit in there, especially two, because I fish with my girlfriend and she has the exact same boat as I do. Also, I don't have a garage and I will not leave a $3,000 kayak outside for uh, the weather to screw up or it gets stolen or whatever, you know? So, and I don't like dragging a trailer. I don't have space for that, you know? Even though I have a house, I don't have space for all that stuff. So if you live in an apartment and you don't have space, you like fishing, you're a bank fisherman, but you, you'd like to go in the water, geez, get one of these. You know, or you don't have to get the top row line. This is the top row line from Aquaglide. There are better ones than this on the market. There's some with the pedal drive and all that. And they're very expensive, you know, like $2,500 American for, for a Hobie is very expensive. I would love to try it. I would love to try it. But, uh, you know, I got this for, I got it for a steal, you know. Bought it at the end of the last summer for a thousand dollars instead of uh, fourteen fifty Canadian again. Uh, so you know we bought two, so we saved like nine hundred dollars. So that, that was worth it. And there's a lot of you know you put your uh, fish finder, your if you want to put a rod in between your legs, or if you want to put one there. There's two more on the sides here, which are basically useless. They're in the way. You got two more here in the back and uh, you got more than enough space and more than enough anchorage points to tie down everything. Like I said, this thing is ultra stable. I went in the waves with it, a rainstorm, whatever, and it was impeccable. Love this boat, really liked it. That was a good investment, very happy. This on the other hand, well, you know, for somebody who's gonna use it once or twice, it's fine. But like I said, it's going to get mucked up. If you get pike juice on that, good luck. It's going to stink. And uh, it's unfortunate because, it, you know, it's a fun little boat. It's really small. You know, it, it, you could fit this in a smart car. It, <laughs> you know, it's really, really small. So uh, just to give you a, a heads up, I wouldn't spend that much money for this for as a fishing kayak, period unfortunately and it's not bashing the product the product is okay i guess you know uh, i i found some similar products uh for half the price and it's basically almost the same thing uh i don't know i'm take a kayak so this is the blackfoot it's a real inflatable fishing kayak and uh, I didn't put the rods in because it's a little too high. Anyways, I think you could figure it out. And it is ultra solid. There's a nose cone here made out of hard, hard plastic or rubber. You know, under it's all PVC. This is all PVC. Drop stitch floor. You know, you got your your valves here to so to drain your boat. You know, you got mounts here to put your uh, Scotty mounts. All over the boat, you got some six in all on top, one in the middle. You know, if you want to put your GoPro there and have a crotch shot, <laughs> you could try that. And uh, storage in the back, storage in the front. You know, I use these these ropes here. I just when I put my paddle in, I just put the front end so that my paddle doesn't go in the water. You know, more than enough space. You know, I got my. This cooler that comes with it, like usually I put my lunch, I put my soft baits in there for now, but uh, I'm getting another bag for the front to put my soft baits in. It's my cooler, I put my lunch in. I put my milk crate here. This holds with Velcro, so I could put Velcro at the bottom, bottom of the milk crate. 
and just tack it there but you know I, I use bungees just in case because uh you know got a bit of stuff in my <laughs> in my arsenal which costs a lot of money so uh, very careful with that and uh I don't usually put these here usually they're uh, in a pocket with a uh, bungee and uh, I just got these these are really neat you know you could get the f in, inside the fish's mouth you could see what what you're doing because you don't have your hand up here these are pretty neat and the fish finder I just put that on this here uh, I never haven't used it yet I used it on my other boat which I'll make a video on so it's it, it's a basic unit. What I like about it, I don't have an, another battery. It's all uh, AA batteries that's that's inside, rechargeable lithium ion. So it lasts more than a day. And uh, when I paddle, I just take it out and just throw it on the floor, so it doesn't doesn't drag. But it does the job pretty good. And uh, that's it. I might change the seat during the year because. Uh, my, my, I have a really bad back and um, so I might go with one of the traditional uh, fishing kayak seats like a lawn chair that looks like a lawn chair I might go for that but the support here is really good you know you could adjust it you could recline it or, or make it tighter around your waist it holds you up pretty good you know my girlfriend ain't complaining about it it's just me I'm old and uh, <laughs> I'm all screwed up so yeah I just can't wait to use this guy this year Cause it's so cold it was snowing two days ago so yeah well i hope you enjoy this i'm just blabbering on my neighbors are just staring at me because uh, i'm blabbering with a camera on my chest <laughs> but uh yeah so uh i'll do the conclusion inside and i will show you um, a picture of the other kayak i was telling you about which you could get for a lot cheaper and it's gonna be made out of pvc you won't be able to stand in it but uh and the paddles suck but the basic you know the basic uh kayak will get the job done i was looking for it it was sold out and uh i could only get it from the states it would cost me like almost 200 dollars of shipping which was retarded so uh, i opted for this it's more expensive but i think it's gonna last me a long long time and i'm not kind of guy that changes his stuff every year or so uh, so that's it so I'll talk to you while I'm inside I was saying earlier that uh, there was a kayak out there that was well worth buying and uh, I, I would have bought it last year but they were sold out and that would be the Intex Excursion Pro the orange and white kayak they have it it is made out of PVC it doesn't have a drop stitch floor and uh, it, com it comes with oars and a pump the pump sucks the oars suck that's for sure but you know for less than $300 that's Canadian it, I don't know how much is in the States but it's below $300 and you have a PVC boat with rod holders uh, I would buy it in a heartbeat no problem i would go fishing no problem with that you know so if, if you're on a budget and and then I'd, I'd go for that like I, i've checked everywhere on the net last year for fishing kayak an inexpensive one and that was the one on top of the list uh, nobody gets even close to that for the price so uh check it out i'll put a picture and uh Look it up if, you, if you're interested. I think it, it's a good buy. All right. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. And I don't know what it's going to be about. I'm sure it's going to be fun. All right. Ciao.